Women is a coming of age novel written by American novelist Louisa May Alcott. The story follows the lives of four March sisters, Joe, Meg, Beth, and Amy, and details their passage from childhood to womanhood. The story has said to address three major themes domesticity, work, and true love, all of them interdependent and each necessary to the achievement of its heroine's individual identity. This novel has been translated into numerous languages and frequently adapted for stage and screen. The Great Gatsby This is the third book written by the American writer F. Scott Fitzgerald. This book was published in 1925 by Charles Scribner Sons. Set in Jazz Age in New York, this novel tells the story of a self-made millionaire, Jay Gatsby, and his pursuit of Daisy Buchanan, a wealthy young woman whom he loved in his youth. Unsuccessful upon publication, this book is now considered as a classic of American fiction and has often been referred to as a great American novel. This book is a favorite for many people and will keep a mixed reading experience for its readers. Wuthering Heights is one of my favorite books. It's a best known novel written by Emily Bronte. Generally, people who have not read this book would feel that it's a love story just like Romeo and Juliet, but it's not. Really, it's a story of revenge. The main character of this story is Heathcliff, a gypsy like person. Mr. Earnshaw, the owner of Wuthering Heights, adopts Heathcliff as his son and later on he has to work there as a servant. Heathcliff falls in love with Catherine and when Catherine decides to marry another person, he runs away from there. He returns later rich and educated. Then he decides to take revenge on the two families that he believed ruined his life. This book is one of the famous classic novels and hope you all get a chance to read this one. Pride and Prejudice It is an 1813 romantic novel written by Jane Austen. Its humor lies in its honest depiction of manners, education, marriage and money during the Regency era in England. Mr. Bennet of Longbourn Estate has five daughters but his property is entailed and can only be passed on to a male heir. His wife also lacks an inheritance, so his family will be destitute upon his death. Thus, it is imperative that at least one of his daughters marry well to support the others, which is the motivation that drives the plot. The novel also revolves around the importance of marrying for love rather than money or social privilege, despite the communal pressure at that time.